Hello, this is Amber Rain Davis. Welcome to my YouTube channel and blog at NotableInk.com. Today we'll be using alcohol markers for ink smushing. This card was inspired by Altenew Academy's Magical Marker Techniques class. Products we'll be using today are Altenew's Golden Garden Die and Stamp Set, as well as the Envelope Liner Die. We'll be using the Hello Sentiment. We'll also be using Altenew's Artist Marker Set A, Pure Graphite, and Limestone Ink Cubes. You can see the numbers of those colors. It's the Tropical Forest and Cool Summer Night Set. So let's get started. I have a piece of craft mat here, and I'm just using one of the markers to um, scribble down some ink. I could not find my liquid alcohol anywhere, so I'm going to be using alcohol pads today. And I'm just um, kind of pouncing it down on the ink to separate the ink and get a more organic look. And you want to work quickly. The alcohol dries fast, so you want to flip your cardstock over and get it down onto the ink quickly. I'm just going to blot it with the alcohol pad again so I can get another lighter coverage there. And I'm going to clean off my craft mat with the alcohol pad um, and just wipe it down with my stamp chamois. We're going to also use some green. I'm going to put a couple blotches of that down. I want my main color to be blue with just a touch of green. So I'm going to do the same thing, pounce the alcohol pad over that. Again, you want to work quickly with your cardstock. Then I'm going to clean this off, and before I wipe it down, it's so light, I'm just going to go ahead and put my cardstock in there. And that added a really light, thin layer of green. I have the black alcohol marker from that set A. I'm going to squeeze an alcohol pad into that. I'm just going to use a wet paint brush to put some splatters of what now looks more like a graphite color. So we're going to be using the Golden Garden set, three stamps from that set, and we're using pure graphite. I didn't want stark black since my ink splotches were more of a graphite color, so we're using the darkest gray to stamp the outlines and the lightest gray to stamp the layer. So we're going to be using the Cool Summer Nights markers to add some detail to these stamps so that it coordinates with our background. I'm only going to be using three of the Cool Summer Nights colors. So we're just going to add some detail here. I'm not a colorist by any means and don't have a lot of experience with alcohol markers. I do have some Copics. I just don't have a lot of experience with them. So this first flower, um, I started putting down the color mostly in the gray area, some of it in the white, but um, following the gray for the shadows. So as I'm practicing, so to speak, with this flower, you're going to see as I go through the coloring and move into the next flowers that I start to change my technique. Um, I did go ahead and use this flower, even though it's going to look a little bit different than the other two that I do. This flower will be set further into the background, and the coloring is going to be more subdued and a little more uh, blurry, if you will, whereas the ones in the forefront will have sharper details, sharper contrast. Um, and so even though the style of coloring is different, I think overall it looks good and adds to the dimension of the card. So you'll get to see that here. Um, so I'm just adding some dark green to the leaves here for a little more dimension, and then we'll move on to the next flower. So with this next flower, you can see I'm starting to put my lightest color down mostly in the white areas, um, not in the gray, and that's different than the first flower. I am going to put some shadows into the gray, so some of my darker colors, and I will put some of that into the um, white areas as well. The other thing that I'm doing is actually adding some additional structure to the illustrations. This is a very loose illustration. And so where there is just open white space without an outline, I'm adding some additional contrast to those areas to um, show the rest of the petals. Um, so you can just see it looks very different. Even from right now, you can see it already looks very different from that other flower. Um, so I'll continue to go through and add dark contrast. Um, I originally painted the stem 
blue, so I'm just adding some green there, and it covered up the blue just fine, I think. So we're moving on to the last flower, and again, I'm gonna add some more structure to this flower as well in those white areas. I'm just checking the dye against the flower because I wasn't entirely sure how far out that flower went, and I wanted to make sure that I was still gonna have white space, and so I didn't wanna take my pigment out too far with my coloring. So again here, I'm kind of getting even bolder and I'm adding in my own lines, my own structure there, kind of following along with the gray in some of the areas. I'm using a little more of the darker color than I did in the first flower. And I really liked how these second two flowers turned out. So adding some additional green. So it's interesting, the dye for this set does not do that second part of the stem there. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I have to figure out what that little stem is for. I'm wondering if it goes to another flower. Um, and so continuing to add a little more contrast to all three of the flowers. You know, just looking at the overall balance of them, I do go back and add a little more contrast to that first flower as well. Once the coloring is done, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, die cut four hellos from Greg Cardstock and clear heat emboss it. Um, in order to match that, I also go ahead and cut a piece of cardstock. I initially thought I'd use the Versa marker to go around the edges in order to heat emboss, but that was gonna take too long. So I switched over to the ink pad, and I'll go ahead and go around all of the edges with the Versamark ink pad. I'll cover that in clear heat embossing powder and heat emboss that as well. Once I had those two elements underneath the card panel, I felt like it was too dark. So I went ahead and cut another hello from that same gray cardstock. I'm still gonna use my heat embossed hello as a drop shadow. So I'm going to stack the just plain cardstock above the clear heat embossed one for my drop shadow. And then the panel, the gray panel that will be behind it will just be the standard cardstock. So I'll put a block on that until it dries. And then I'm gonna go ahead and foam mount my flowers into an arrangement. There, all three of them are at different levels of height. And then we'll go ahead and adhere the hello die cut to cover the bottom end of those stems. I added three clear sequins and the card was done. I hope you enjoyed this card today. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the like button below and also subscribe to my blog at notableink.com. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a great day.